Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your September 2020 final 10. We're going to grab a card to cross and then go from there. If it turns into a love reading, we're going to do a love spread. Check out my details in the description box if you want more content. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorn. My North Node. You're leaving this up to the divine, Capricorn. I'm seeing something happen where you feel pretty rejected when it comes to an offer you took your time with. You went inside over and over again trying to understand if you were being deceived in a situation or not. And I'm seeing that you recently walked out of a situation where that all came to light. Whatever happened was discussed. And I'm seeing you feel that it just... It, be it leaves you in a state where you need more answers. So you're still going to be researching. you feeling this codependent vibe that you have. You're in innocent at heart in your feeling. But the thing is, is that you know that it's not being satisfied. Like the situation itself is not um, feeling just for you. You feel that there's something that is uh, going out of your hands in terms of making this situation equal. And you feel like maybe it's a it's a grand, great possibility that it could have been a waste of time. It's feeling like that for you. And you feel like that you're walking into more codependency, possibly. We're going to look a little bit into this uh, going on. Um, but as of right now, you feel like you're taking too much time looking at all this information. Maybe you feel like you want these answers now. It's because you know that your guard is down right now for some reason. And I'm trying to fix that. But the thing is, with all this stuff, you've got a lot of enlightenment based on your situation. And you're living, leaving these things up to the fine. That's how you feel. People are seeing you as very happy and positive right now, um, Capricorn. But how you're feeling right now is that you feel on the brink of this is that there may be some separation coming. And that is what is um, motivating you to, to look for answers. And that's what we're going to look at, into a little bit. Okay, clarify the Two of Cups reverse. Two of Pentacles reverse. Someone gave up a juggling situation and now you're realizing that even though they gave it up, it's just still a fucked up thing that it was going on. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles reverse. You found out someone was not telling you the truth for a very long time about a commitment that was existing and you re you found that out uh, with the Ace of Swords. Clarify the Ace of Swords reverse. What else did they lie about? Maybe feelings that they had towards um, you. They lied about it being light, lighter than it was. Clarify the tower. The fool reverse. Someone is um, blaming the past for the past when they invested in different areas. I'm seeing uh, you may be on the rocks about deciding against this decision because you see this person as your Ten of Pentacles moment and Ten of Wands. So you're willing to put up with this person's bullshit. This person is worth it to you. Okay. Clarify the Page of Cups upright. Why is, um, what, what do you feel in your sentiments? You feel like this person just needs a lot of attention. You feel like they're not a confident person. And because that they can't deliver this confidence to you with the Emperor Reverse, um, they have to resort to mind games. They have to resort to manipulation just to make things even in their own head, right? That's what I'm seeing from this reading. Okay, so clarify the Page of Swords upright. What information are you getting, if any, about this situation? King of Wands upright and death. Okay, you realize that things are changing for good. You realize that you came to this kind of situation because you've had a discussion with this uh, water or fire sign, right? Possibly Scorpio in particular. You've had a conversation with this person and you both were honest with each other. I'm seeing that with two kings here and quiz up, right? So someone knows, is more is like more aware of their position in the other's life. Clarify the Nine of Cups reverse then. Why is uh, there still going to be codependency going on? Because someone is waiting on an offer. Someone's waiting on an offer. Ace of Wands upright. It could be sexual in nature. Hold on. Let me see how cool it looks with the light off. Oh, no. That sucks. All right. You know, see, you see, it's still out there, right? It's just, it's, you know, it's more different, so it's like that. All right. So, clarify the Ace of Wands. What about this new start? Someone is really going within, maybe separating from a Gemini. Or a Virgo. I'm seeing someone is really going in to determine uh, what is better to fix their sorrow. Why they are not advancing in certain situations in their life. I'm seeing someone uh, is revealing a situation about 
pure, pure selfishness. Someone is revealing that. Someone is telling that. And this selfish nature has brought them to a blockage in their wish fulfillment um, and blocking their own Ten of Cups moment. And they realized this, that they hadn't been working on the right situation, which was the star, which was they knew it was you all along. Clarify the star and the Ten of Cups. Justice reverse. This person told you many lies and your, your vulnerability was down but you've been very patient with this person and because of that you're both going to be able to forgive the past something is coming out very positive about this clarify the sun why do people see my capricorn as the sun three of swords reverse. they see that you've taken yourself out of a negative place they recently saw you in an emotionally unbalanced place and i'm seeing that you've fixed that ever since and they see you radiating again in your high vibrations because you've seen this person after a very long time of not seeing them. You feel like talking to this person is not really the thing you need right now. You've already had a good discussion with them. So what you feel like is you're going to leave the rest up to God. And you're, you're deciding that it's great that we got all the lies off the table. Now we can focus on what's real. And what's real is who are we outside of this, right? Because if it's always just our ego trying to appease both sides of the connection, yeah, right. There's a lot of wands energy here about um, you guys want to hook up. It's right. It's cool. But both of you are very career focused and end up looking like you're manipulating each other. And it's really putting you both in a very big stress. All right. This is going to be a love reading. But, you know, this is a pretty long reading. So, oh, no, it's only six minutes. Oh, shit, man. That happened so fast. It felt like ages. All right, so let's just do a love spread right now, right? I guess you guys would want to see something like that. You're you're holding some strength over some separation here. Something's happening, and on, over here in your spread as well, there's Ten of Swords. Okay, I'm going to leave Ten of Swords out here. This is very important. And the outcome, you have Ten of Swords. Why is that there? The rest of your spread look positive. What is going on with this ending? What what kind of cycle is ending? we got to see that before we move on to the love in the situation we gotta know what could be ending and then perhaps the love situation may tell us more okay so why is the ten of swords here king of swords upright someone is making a logical decision about a situation they don't feel was evolving death reverse and the king of swords clarify the ten of swords one more card but oh, there's one on the ground two of cups upright Someone is ending a situation, possibly with an air sign, because of true love. Matter of fact, the Two of Cups, Page of Wands upright, Page of Pentacles upright, and Six of Wands upright. Someone feels more successful in a different direction because they felt like they've waited for a very long time to manifest a newer lifestyle. And I'm seeing that your person feels like they could get that with you. That's what it's looking like, Capricorn. Okay, now let's see. What is the energy between Capricorn and their person? Right? Because that was all clarifying the Ten of Swords. That's right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for air signs. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorn and their person. Chariot, first card, you may be dealing with a cancer. Six of Wands, upright. All right. Emperor, three of Pentacles, upright. Your person has the King of Pentacles, upright. The Eight of Swords, upright. The Judgment and the Nine of Swords, blocking. What's on the bottom? The Devil. Whoa, where'd you go? Yo, the devil, see the devil screwed up my screen. That devil. Oh man, you gotta love the devil. Alright, so what happened here was, okay, so you're, you're feeling the chatter, but you're giving this a new shot, Capricorn. You're feeling very in your feelings because your life is just going so great. And you just feel like, oh, what the fuck, it's all going alright, so there's no point in worrying about it. So what you're doing is, you're on your high horse, you know, you may be driving around town, and you're feeling very smug, you're feeling like, you know, you got it going, you got it really going on. And you're, you're there, you're doing your thing. And this is how you are towards your person. Seven. After much conflict, you came six to the seven. You persevered. You were playing fair. You were doing your thing. And there's 
going to be some codependency in this relationship. That's what the devil is here. Don't be scared, right? Just a little bit of devil. Don't worry. But your person's feeling King of Pentacles upright. They're feeling like towards you. They're feeling like, man, I hit the gold mine with this Capricorn. This Capricorn is what I'm thinking about. They're thinking, oh, this is, th this is what I need in my life. This is someone stable. This is someone doing their thing. This is some of that. But it's making them sick. They're thinking about you so much. It's making them sick. And they're praying about you too. They're wondering, what is my Capricorn doing all this whole time? And what's blocking them is they've been having trouble sleeping recently. Right now, thanks to you, it's helping them go to sleep. But they're still stressing the fact that what is going on. So we're going to have to clarify some of these things. Oh, and they're trying to turn upright. So they're really stressing. They Okay, now I'm touching the King of Pentacles here and it's swirling like this. It's swirling. It's like this. It's swirling like this. Every time I'm tapping, it's swirling. What does that mean? What that's telling me right now is that... This person is worried that you're leaving. This person is concerned about that. They want to get you mixed up in some kind of sexual thing. Clarify the Nine of Swords. What is Capricorn's person stressing about here? Queen of Cups reversed. They're worried if you are emotionally available to others instead of them. They're worried of that you're hiding something. They're worried that you already consider them a waste of time. Clarify the Eight of Swords. This person is sad about the mistakes they made that didn't take this relationship further. I'm seeing this person really uh, possibly cry over you. This person is crying over you. Um, because you are stable and you represent someone who knows themselves. They love that about you, but they hate it. It has them trusting you more than others, but they don't know what to do. Clarify the Emperor. What turned my Capricorn this way? Queen of Pentacles upright. You know that you were watering grass that wasn't green. But you watered it. And you waited until it wants to turn green. You were very nurturing towards this person. You gave it all without thinking. And it had you turn away from them eventually. Because you wanted to see some fruit out of it. At least for them to use on their own. They still didn't do that, right? Clarify the Three of Pentacles. What represented what you gave them? You gave this person a wealth of knowledge, um, but they never got started in using it. You gave this person a wealth of passion, but they possibly thought about it and never brought it into an action. Clarify the Seven of Swords. What was your person worried about? Your person is worried about you as taking your offer back from them. Sagittarius energy. You may be dealing with the Sagittarius on the side. They're per worried about you not loving them back anymore because they also want to give it another try. But they're so burdened by what's been going on for the last nine days, nine weeks, nine months, could also be 12, that they don't want to burden you with their heartbreak. They feel super heartbroken at this time as well because they know that they were possibly a player in the past and that's why they were un non-committal and emotionally unavailable. And they didn't give to you the way you wanted. Clarify the chariot. Why does my Capricorn want to give to them? You always feel like this person helps you become a better person on the inside. You feel like you can always get to a better mental ground with this person. Something about the way you guys communicate is very nurturing to you. But you have caught this person lie to you before. That's the one thing. But I'm guessing that you feel that also... This is an opinion I share. I don't know what you guys think, but some lies are forgivable, right? Lying is kind of forgivable in some in some senses. It's not the right thing to do, yeah, but sometimes it is forgivable. But in this case, what had happened was these lies, this lack of... This person omitted the truth from you. They didn't want to tell you certain things. And because of that, it stopped this relationship from progressing. But they trusted you more than anyone, but they still didn't tell you about something. I'm getting because they could have been an heiress. They could have thought that uh, if you knew, you'd leave or something. Because they want to settle down with you. They have deep love for you, but they didn't. But they know they lied to you. And your person is just over replaying this scenario in their head when they're alone, and they don't know what to do next. They're stuck, and they're possibly losing sleep over it. They're feeling the devil. They're feeling the devil. Maybe you're the devil. Maybe they're the devil. But the point is, they're feeling the devil. They love you. They're toxic. You, you've been toxic to them too. 
you both are sick of each other, but you want this because you do see better future no matter how much pain it happens. And you do envision it being stable. They see you as their most stable option. They thought about it for a very long time. Their intuition keeps telling them about you. They've done every kind of thing to forget you. It doesn't work. You've tried every single thing to forget them. It doesn't seem to be working either, right? Well, just be the devil together, whatever. I mean, that's cute, I guess. Because in this case, right, it's because you guys haven't worked out your codependent nature with how awesome you guys are together. Like, the, the chemistry is so good that you can't help but be addicted to each other. It's more like that, right? So it's not like we're trying to make fun of you here, but it's just that like the energy between you guys moves so fast, see? And the, the thing is, the way you guys teach each other stuff helps you two both become better people. You love it. You really like it. You're also addicted to that factor as well as the relationship. So you're not minding the devil right now. It's like, you be like, I want that flavor ice cream. Like, okay. Like, what the fuck? Like, that's what it's like. Capricorn, I'll see you guys later, right? That was a nice reading. Love you. Bye.